Now, Andrew, over the past year, you've made some remarkable progress. I've been looking over my case notes, and uh, I think you can stop coming in. You mean I, I don't need counseling anymore? In my opinion, you're ready to go it alone. Well, that's great news, Norm, except I'm not going to be alone. I've fallen in love. Well, that's fantastic. With who? My penis. <laughs> You took a picture of it there, huh? Yeah. We went down to the portrait studio at the mall. I think it looks even better without makeup. Yeah. We're engaged. Yeah. That would explain the, the ring. Yeah, I'll tell you what, uh, Andrew. Uh, uh, I think you're cured, as I said, so good luck. Yeah. I would shake your hand there, Andrew. The thing is, I got a cold. And also, I'm guessing you touched your penis recently, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so be you got that right, buddy. Right. Okay. Too bad that you're not as smart as you thought you were in the first place. Too bad that you had to get caught. That's not like you to lose face. So sad that you're not as smart as you thought you were. Morning. Hey, morning. Hi. Oh, yeah, well, I hope everybody's had a chance to reread the gambling addiction handbook over the weekend. Oh, yeah, I read Absolutely. the whole thing. All right, good. I have one other question. Who brought the dice for the crap game that was going on just now? <laughs> okay, I'm not going to judge anybody harshly. I'm just going to turn my back, and I want who's ever responsible to just put the dice in my hand. <laughs> Why do I always fall for that? Where's Steve? Oh, he said it wasn't helping him. Well, that's the fourth time he's missed. Now, okay, I'm gonna go check on Steve. Betty Show. Two to one, he doesn't. You're wrong. Why you guys knock it? My God, you people are worse than the sex addicts. At least they wait till I'm out of the room. Norm, Steve from the gambling group has stopped showing up. Here's his address. Could you go talk to him for me? Uh, I don't know, Lori. I'm kind of depressed about Shelly breaking up with me, you know? Uh, I mean, everything reminds me of Shelly. You know, the counseling room? There's a coffee cup over there, you know? Oh, look at this, a paper clip. That reminds me of Shelly. Really? Yeah, she used to do this thing where she'd attach two pieces of paper. <laughs> oh, Norm, come on. You know, you do something for somebody else, it'll make you feel better. You used to be a degenerate gambler. You know what Steve's going through. And besides, he'll be able to see how well you're doing here. <laughs> You're wearing pajama bottoms. Well, look, you go home and change your pants and go talk to Steve, okay? How can you leave your apartment wearing pajama bottoms? Oh, I didn't. A nice gentleman on the subway gave these to me. me to come by and find out why you didn't go to the meeting today. Oh, it's no problem. I got the whole gambling addiction licked. And no problem. Ah, yeah? Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. Uh, uh, you know, I'm, I'm taking the extra time I have to, to rid my apartment of all the evil gambling paraphernalia, like this <laughs> full house. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> Guys, this is Norm. He works with Lori. Oh, say hello to Lori for us. We're all graduates of her workshop. <laughs> He thinks that everybody who gambles is a degenerate addict. Okay, I'll see your hundred, and I'll raise you my daughter's soccer equipment. <laughs> Straight flush. Uh, I'm not really sure if she was my daughter anyway. She's not. I mean, these are nice shin guards. Hey, why don't you take a seat and uh, play here? No, oh, no, man, I don't gamble, see? I quit. I know how, how much destruction it can lead to, you know? You guys should all just quit, except you, you got four jacks. <laughs> Would you just leave us alone? See, look, you guys don't understand. You know, compulsive gambling, it's a disease. You know, it's like, uh, like polio, you know? I mean, it's not as bad as polio. Hi, but... right, Steve, please leave your message at the beep. Dad, it's Roger. 
Um, the school said your checks bounce, and they locked me out of my dorm. But it's cool. I'm hanging out with some guys who said they know what way I can make some easy money. <laughs> Gotta go, Dad. Oh, man. I gotta get my son's tuition back. Oh, okay, guys. These glasses frames are, are they're worth at least a hundred dollars right there. Okay, you're in Fort now. Oh my God, come on, new deal. You suck at this, man. Just get out of the seat. God, I'll play a couple of hands for you. I thought you didn't gamble. I don't gamble. This is not gambling. I'm just playing. Try to win your kid's tuition back. That's all. All right, now, this is the first thing you gotta learn, is you gotta adopt a poker face, all right? I have excellent cards. <laughs> I say that every hand. All right, I'll raise 50. Yeah, see you 50, raise 50 more. All right, I'll see that 100. Uh, give me your wedding ring. <laughs> I can't get it off. What are you talking about? Come on. Ah, uh, here, I'm in. Does anybody have any fours? We're playing poker, not go fish. I know that, but it isn't against the rules to ask. I fold. You see this guy over here? Every time he has a bad hand, his nostrils flare wildly. Well, this looks like Buckingham Palace with all the royalty I've got here. I got it straight to the jack. Oh, I guess that beats my three, five, seven, ten, and two. <laughs> oh, thanks, Norm. Really saved my ass. All right, fellas. That's it for me. Oh, hey, hey, that's good, man. You're walking away from the table. That's the first sign on the road to recovery. Yeah, I'm proud of you, buddy. That's great. All right, I'm in, man. Let's go. <laughs> Hey, hey, Jimmy. Yeah, I'll hold. Hey, Artie. Come on, man. They're not nachos if you eat all the cheese off them, huh? We got guests coming. I asked you to make me a mug of melted cheese, but you said no. Oh, hey, Jimmy. Listen, man. Uh, give me $1,000 uh, on the New Orleans Saints, okay? Thanks, buddy. Are you betting on football games again? Oh, my God. I'm on such a hot streak the last two weeks, you wouldn't believe it, Artie. It turns out gambling's only bad if you lose. <laughs> I gotta say, I don't know about this gambling thing. Ain't Lori coming over? What if she catches you? Yeah, well, Lori's not gonna catch me, you know? And it's not even gambling. I realize something. I can control the outcome of the game with my mind. <laughs> yeah. Hey, remember when Ruin missed that 75-yard field goal last week? That was me. <laughs> You're kidding! No, no, no. I sit on the chair. See, it's all the chair. This lucky chair. <laughs> and then I concentrate real hard with my lucky chair. Yeah, it always works, except college basketball. I don't know why it doesn't <laughs> I gotta give me another chair for that or something. Hey, 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 here. Uh, you know, Dan, you actually do know a lot about football. Yeah, I used to play. I was a linebacker. Oh, high school? No, fat camp. <laughs> oh, hey, Laura, you're sitting in the chair there, the, the uh, chair of no consequence. Uh, 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 listen, I don't think you like that chair. You know, you, you'd be more comfortable in uh, uh, here. In this chair here. <laughs> what, you don't have a sword she could sit on or anything? <laughs> fine, right where I am, Norm. All yeah, right, fine, suit yourself. <clears throat> Tackle him, you idiot! What's the matter with you? Jeez, Norm, I didn't know you are such a big Saints fan. Huh? Oh, no, I'm not. I'm just a, a casual observer of the game. You know, I will kill you! <laughs> I will, you will die! Ah! Stupid, unlucky crate! Norm, you okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm fine, Lori. Uh, uh, listen, Lori, uh, I have a mole that's been changing color, size, and shape rather rapidly. Can you take a look at it here? Right over here, there you go. Ah! What does it matter with you? All right, everybody, shut up. I gotta concentrate, all right? What? You bet on that game, didn't you? That's why you care so much about the Saints winning. Uh -huh. <gasps> 
<laughs> I didn't bet on any game. No, not at all. No, no. I, uh, I'll just look somewhere else. How's that? Norm, this is a very slippery slope. You know, once you get right back into gambling, you know that... Oh, my God. You're watching the reflection of the TV in my eyes, aren't you? <laughs> no, I swear I'm not. I'm swear... Touchdown! Yes! <laughs> yes! You are the chair! Norm. <laughs> I want to see you in the kitchen right now. You know that betting is a violation of your probation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's fun. Sure. Now it's fun. But what about later? You'll lose everything. You'll be sleeping on the street begging for food. Right, but now it's fun. So. Norm, you have an addiction. It's not an addiction, Laurie, all right? It's a pastime. And it's a pastime that I can enjoy constantly. You are about to destroy your life, and you're too stupid to realize uh, it. Whatever. Where are you going? I don't need you to, to live my life for me, all right? I'm going to go to the bar, and I'm going to watch the game in peace. Any word on Norm? No, Artie hasn't seen him, and his landlord says he hasn't been home in two days. Mr. Denby, what are you doing at Norm's desk? I, I was just looking for clues as to Norm's uh, disappearance. Now, how do you think a sculpture would look in this area? <laughs> Lori, the cleaning lady said that Norm came by early yesterday morning and took a radio out of his desk. Oh, probably to hawk it. No, this is terrible. You know, it's, it's, it's going to be hard on all of us, Lori, but I, I think we just have to accept the fact that Norm's gone and clear this area for an indoor fountain or something. <laughs> Mr. Denby, how can you say that? One of our little group is suffering. Uh, really? You really think he's suffering? <laughs> well, if Norm did come back to the office, maybe he left some sort of a clue as to where he was going. It's, it's all my fault. No, it's not, Laurie. Yes, it is. He just got dumped by Shelley, and if I hadn't sent him over to Steve's mm -hmm. in such a vulnerable state, he wouldn't have gotten addicted all over again. Well, I guess it is your fault. <laughs> Look, he wrote, I'm writing this so Denby thinks I'm working. I'm writing this so Denby thinks I'm working. I'm writing this so Denby thinks I'm working like a, like a thousand times. Wouldn't it be easier just to be working? <laughs> God, it looks like a voodoo doll. But of... of who? <laughs> you know, I'd expect this kind of foolishness from Norm, sitting around all day doing no work, playing with do... <gasps> oh, you guys, you guys are so easy. <laughs> Well, this is getting us nowhere. I'm going over to his apartment. I'm going to wait for him to get home. He's got to come home eventually, and we're going to do an intervention. All right, I'll go with you. <laughs> At last we meet. <laughs> I have excellent cards. <laughs> Where's that crew cut guy with the uh, glasses? Well, he left town to try to break his addiction. Yeah, where'd he go? Vegas. <laughs> oh, yeah, guys. Uh, I'm shy, man, but I'm, I'm, I'm good for it. No, no, no. You tapped out, Norm. We should have cut you off 12 hours ago. <laughs> All right, fine. But, uh, hey, before I open the top to this soda and possibly win thousands in valuable prizes, uh, who wants to buy it? Ten bucks, come on. Ten bucks. All right, go on, I'll take it. Oh, thanks, man. Thanks a lot. <laughs> All right, I'm in. Let's play cards. Oh, I want a jet ski. <laughs> yeah, of course you did. If I'd opened it, an anvil would have fallen on my head. Well, I got nothing. My highest card is an eight. Uh, I, I can't beat that. <laughs> hey, Norm, Norm. Oh, 
hey, hey, Artie, man, you get my next game now? No bookie in town will take your action. I think you should take a break. No, 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 give me some money, man. I know what I'll do. I heard about this game down at the docks. It's, it's all these crazy foreigners, and they, they bet on this weird ancient game. You're talking about the Magistanis? Yeah, yeah, the Magistanis. I don't know, man. Those guys are dangerous. Yeah, well, maybe so, but they'll gamble with anybody. You know, they don't even have a country anymore. They lost it to Romania during that last De La Hoya fight. <laughs> I know where he hides his key. Yeah? Oh, good thinking, Norm. No one suspects the fake rock in the apartment hallway. <laughs> Artie, what are you doing? Oh, my God, Lori. I think he was watching a porno and lost all sense of reality. No, he wasn't. He was going to hop. That TV for Norm's gambling money. Where is he, Artie? Or don't you even want to help your own brother? Look, forget it, lady. That guilt stuff ain't gonna work on me. Yeah, well, how do you feel about pain? place by the docks. Danny, come on, let's go get him. No, you can't, you can't. What? They don't allow women. I think it's some kind of religion thing. Mm. Or maybe they just don't like the yapping. <laughs> no, they allow women now. They just don't allow pork. Oh, Artie, I guess I can go, but you can't. <laughs> Caesar's Palace, last time I used that travel agent. <laughs> yeah. No, no, just money. I came to gamble. Gambly, gambly, gambly. <laughs> All right, fella, I don't know what the game is, but uh, I'm in. Deal the cards, Pally. Or the egg. <laughs> I got an egg, huh? Oh, I see, okay. Playing some kind of egg game. All right, excellent. All right, am I winning or? The guy, the guy, the guy. Uh, yeah, I get it. It's like a cockfight before they're born, right? You seem to have a gift for the egg game. You are a very big underdog. Your skill has paid off handsomely. Oh, great. Yeah, you speak English, huh? Yeah, my name is Jim. <laughs> Jim, that's it, I'm just plain old Jim. Yeah, Jim Kamanasaka, Manasolinka, Trusaka, Tabush, Marinska, Patush, Kashun, Garam, Palum. Well, I'll just call you Jim. <laughs> Who is that? Is that the greatest egg breaker of them all or something? No, he's a very respected businessman in our country. They call him Captain Mattress. If he can't beat your price, he'll pay you double the difference in our worthless currency. <laughs> You play now. I have an excellent egg. <laughs> Lori, what are you doing here? I'm here to rescue you. These people are dangerous. Uh, I don't know about that. They probably have high cholesterol, but they seem fine. <laughs> it's a fascinating tradition. Yeah, I wonder what happens when both eggs break at once. Assignment. I'm sure the officer will understand. I hope you realize you have a problem. Yeah. No, I don't have a problem. Because I got a hold of a bar of soap, see? 
and I carved two eggs. <laughs> we can play. Next week, after Drew, on Norm. Well, don't worry, Artie. I got a plan to get you out. What is it? Yeah, I didn't really have a plan. I thought that would spark something. Artie is still in jail? Yes. That's why I have to go get the money off my bookie to get him out. Well, I'm not going to let you see a bookie by yourself. Good God, woman. Would you have some children to let me live a life here? Let's go get Artie out of jail. Oh, right, yeah. Now, the thing is, Artie called, and uh, he said he wanted to stay a, a little longer in jail. So. <laughs> Artie would want to see me double my money. You don't like Artie, do you? You know what? I think prison's hardened you. <laughs> <laughs>